I too would like to thank all the neighborhood groups for sponsoring this event. I'm Joe Mendonca. I've been on the city council for these past two years, and uh, you get to judge me on what's been done, not the promises that are made going forward. I think it's more important what's been done. Uh, and in the case of the neighborhood issues, uh, and of course I don't do it alone, any counselor needs the support of these four other councils in order to succeed in making something happen. But I put forth a motion to reorganize the inspectional services, and that's been accomplished. It's not completely done yet, it's not perfect, there's lots of room for improvement. But the number of inspections that have been done, number of citations that have occurred have gone up dramatically. And that's going to help with the situations in the neighborhoods, especially some of the denser populated areas. Uh, I also had a motion that the city manager meet regularly with the neighborhood groups, at least quarterly, but I believe they've been doing that more often than that. And that opens up the lines of communication to the city manager and city administration so that they know what's going on in the neighborhoods and they can address it as soon as they can. Uh, I know there's certain neighborhoods that have higher crime rates than others. And I would support the superintendent of police targeting those neighborhoods with more resources in order to take care of the crime that they know from the data collection is occurring in those neighborhoods. Uh, of course, an easy answer would be say it had police, but unfortunately, who's gonna pay for it? Our taxes are already going up every year, and we can't just increase them further. So we have to keep an eye on the finances and address the public safety. I hope that you'll support me uh, number four on the ballot. Thank, uh, thank you all again for being here. And uh, I've been involved in neighborhood groups for many years. I've led one of the neighborhood groups and continue to be active on it. I try to attend as many neighborhood group meetings as I can to stay abreast of what the issues are. And related to public safety, I see the community policing that goes on firsthand as they report what's going on in the neighborhood and listen to the concerns of the neighbors. Uh, I do try to attend as many meetings as I can. Those that are maybe are not feeling in love because I haven't been there, it's because there are commitments that I have that keep me away. That's the only reason. One of them being the Wall Veterans Council happens to coincide with the neighborhood meeting, and I make a commitment to go to the Wall Veterans Council for that. I'm on chair of a credit union, so I have to be at those board meetings, and that happens to <coughs> coincide with yet another neighborhood group meeting. In any case, I would support Anything we can do, apply our resources to improve public safety, but we have to do it in a fiscally responsible way. 